Good morning, Clutch fans. It's Wednesday. I am feeling like poop today. Long day, long week. It's only Wednesday. Why is it only already a long week and it's only Wednesday? In any case, I went to Washington D.C. two weeks ago. I'm not wearing this shirt, but I think this shirt's awesome nonetheless. But wearing my TARDIS T-shirt, and when we go places. Well, when I go places, I like to do thoughts from places. Sometimes that, doesn't, sometimes that doesn't happen. But anyway, the time that I woke up and went to sleep two Wednesdays ago were kind of fuzzy, so I'll just leave you with this. It's 6 o'clock in the morning. I have a slight inkling of knowing where I am. I'm going to slip every three hours. So at about 6 o'clock, my best friend Kelly and I arrived in Washington, D.C. Alright, say hi, Kelly. And we followed about 15 hours worth of walking, past the Capitol, past the forever phallic Washington Monument, and eventually to a Starbucks named Will Kelly's Addiction of Caffeine, and into the Lincoln Memorial, continuing the day's undertaking, seeing as much of the nation's capital as we can see in one day. As we walk past the World War II Memorial and the currently barren reflecting pool, I realize that even the oldest parts of Washington are only a little more than 200 years old. Yet we revel in the history of America, find it palpable in Washington. It's hard not to, what with the spirit of St. Louis, and the Voyager Golden Record, and the actual Star Spangled banner in the museum yeah, the Smithsonian Wizard Institution. Was originally a, um, a book written in favor of the free silver movement. You know I played Dorothy in a dance thing once? I guess neither of us knew the things <laughs> to talk about. And as we kept walking past the newly christened Martin Luther King Memorial and eventually the American History and Air and Space Museums and the Postal Museum and the Vietnam Veterans Memorial, I realized the same paradox at this point almost inherent in my own life. I've only known Kelly for a little over four years. We've only been friends for just under a year and a half. And she's carved such an important position for herself in my life. She's my best friend, my favorite person to talk to, and the only person I'd imagine going on an adventure like this. And as we walked by the White House, imagining the future where both of us lived in a young historic city and returning home after 24 hours in America, I never felt happier to live a paradoxical life. Robin, I'll see you tomorrow.